Them bros, man, he was going to, you know what I'm saying? We were, we were rolling, right? <laughs> it's in a snitch. <laughs> man. The niggas said we rolling, right? <laughs> R-O-B. <laughs> R-O-B. <laughs> running this rap shit. <laughs> yeah, you got to get a Ronnie overboard, like put that on the back of a shirt yeah. or something. Like on one of That's the That's a series. That's a... That's a clip show. I'm not proud of that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> got to lean into it, dog. There's a few characters I got on. Like, bro, that nigga Ronnie Overboard. Ronnie Overboard, bro. Wrong like, that, just that one sketch when you walked up to the chicken Oh, you, uh, yeah, I went overboard last night. Oh, no, that was right on board. That, you, was, that was on. It was great. Ronnie on board. Where y'all huh? was at? Oh, Kit Cats. Cats. You on stage? Both. Top of the oh, morning man. to oh, you, bro. I said, shout out to We own again. I hope you listening closely. We doing our own thing. But we doing this for the culture. Check out the top. Check out the top. Don't be the subject. Don't be the subject. We keep it pop. Hey, we keep it pop. You can be up next. You can be up next. We are more than culture. 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 We are more than culture. More than culture. She's that, coming here. Well, she got to promote her show come on August 12th. Man, I'm yeah. telling you, they let her cuss like she cuss yeah, that in a rose type of format show, of black people. Man. That shit is fucking hilarious. She hates Thank you, Ronnie Remo. Jordan, for she putting me the shit out of Remo. It's all good. Thank you for putting <laughs> me on the show that one Remo day. <laughs> the most. <laughs> she <laughs> hates Remo. I talked Remo ass it's up. It's so I easy for Miss Pat to hate you, though. But that's what I was trying to say. I said, Miss Pat. That shit y'all had niggas doing on warm up is different. I gotta keep a mask on. They gotta keep a mask on. They gotta be separate. And the DJ gotta turn that shit all the way down. Wow. You did we, warm up. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, but so I was hard. doing it and I had to I but had to go out of town. It's crazy. But you had to do he, it. A mask but on. he had I mean, no shade to a uh, uh, black boy because he was doing what they wanted him to do. He was playing strip club music on strip club volume, and I'm like trying to warm up mm. over, over music. Loud yeah. music, <laughs> but I was doing like I was making them niggas do the cha cha together and shit. I ain't give. I was making them niggas because they had to stay in tune. Yeah, you show. got it right. And I was really watching that shit, laughing loud. Like now, it's a skill to warming up. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Man. For, sure. uh, for television shows, for, for television sure, show, nigga, for sure. Because you can't. Cause cause I, I, you know, I, you're not doing a set. I've done it for uh, <laughs> say. Um, now you did it for a Uncle week. nephew. Uncle nephew. Uncle Tommy. <laughs> Uncle Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> Remo, Uncle when Tommy. I tell you, I be selling you, but hey, I appreciate you, brother. But I'm still selling you. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking uh, human trafficking. Hey, I'm still selling you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they were. And you're still on the block, but <laughs> you're still on the stroll, nigga. <laughs> I need you back in them jeans now. <laughs> Come on now, you been out the jeans for a little bit, man. Damn, <laughs> we were. I don't know why you transferring the sweats, but it you ain't good for the brand. Fireball, discombobulated <laughs> shit. Okay. Soon as soon as Tyler put up the sweats, you gonna jump in hey, the sweats. Yo. <laughs> Yo, if y'all said Tyler's body too much for me. <laughs> Yo, it was funny. It was a said, call back. It was the funniest shit ever to me. I was like, yo, he likes his physique. <laughs> Niggas love like, roasting my Am I being a fat lady? I'm like, damn, why do I get roasted for working out? Am I being a jealous fat so lady? Crazy. No, he said Tyler's body twice. I just want to be healthy. I he mean, said it twice. He said somebody's body twice. <laughs> he said, am I being fat? Am I being a fat bitch? I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> am I being you got to go down the real nigga uh, checklist. Like, what am I doing? <laughs> we have 12 titles for this podcast. They ain't even started yet. Come on, Morton Culture is the brand. This is the Morton Culture show. All the secret genius. Remo Rock. Tyler Chronicles. Ronnie Fat Bitch Jordan. <laughs> Not the fat bitch. Oh, Come on, baby. Yeah, Kick it off, it. man. Yeah, man. We got this brother right here, man. This motherfucker is ATL adjacent mm -hmm. born. Yes, sir. He from Carl County. Carl County, man. But the boy done became a goddamn Carl legend. County, man. I think that's the first time I ever heard the that's word. Called, he first made Carl time. County sound hard as a motherfucker. First time I ever heard somebody say Carl County, man, in my life. And it I'm sound Carl, right. Nigga, it sound, it sound Carl, like nigga. a nigga from Atlanta. Well, we from old Atlanta, but Carl was where you wouldn't go you if never your would license was together. We were afraid of We didn't think that about y'all. Police were scared. Huh? What we you mean? As far away. as like y'all didn't like to come to Cobb, but yes. we went to Atlanta. Like, yeah, okay. Okay. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me finish the intro. Here we go. Can I finish the intro? Let's do the intro. Do your thing, ready, Joe. We didn't think like that. The introduction. Let's do the intro. Let did. Don't let him disrespect your shit. I feel you. Let him do the intro. Yeah, the nigga might slap Remo in the motherfucker. That truck will keep moving hey, look, like T.I. every time. The, 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 <laughs> hey, the Decatur niggas is over here pressing them. You goddamn. Mean, what the fuck? I'm not, I'm not from Decatur. I'm sorry. Southwest Atlanta and Decatur yeah, sir. is over here. East Atlanta. East Atlanta. Something. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> something now something he's close. trying to real Sound hard. Sounds like he need to get that right. You feel? <laughs> East Atlanta <laughs> and fucking Decatur, Georgia. This nigga play AAU basketball We're going to goddamn pick it up in Quavo. three, two, one. Um, This guy here is from Cobb County, Georgia. 
He's around the country <laughs> like doing his comedy. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> He's doing his comedy jokes. <laughs> 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 I can never pick up funny. I'm mean, the right way. All right, funnier. It's it hilarious. is funnier, about. man. Yo, so anyway, fuck all that. This nigga from Cobb County, but <laughs> you know Cobb Cod County, but funny as hell. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a, he's he's becoming a young legend on his own right. On the, he got his own show, Roast Battlegrounds. Yes, sir. Yes. The roast me host. Yes, sir. We got Brandon Lewis on more than coaching. Yes, yes, sir. 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 Yes, Clark County. T.I. We'll put y'all right, on the map. Right, right. Explain, Explain what that means to niggas. Tell the niggas who not from here. So look, Period, I grew up. So I grew up on know. the West End. We used to come to the West End. I used to sell CDs. I used to come down here. I knew all these niggas down here okay. on the front street. Like I was close yeah. to this side. I wasn't. I ain't from Marietta. It's different. See, it's a difference. Right. So Marietta yeah. niggas is different from Clark County niggas. You know okay. what I'm saying? Talking. Okay. Them niggas from Marietta, man. You know what I'm saying? Them, them niggas different. These are okay. so nice yeah, areas. So, as soon as okay. the border crossed, like you, you buy blue flame. So I'm on the south side of Cobb, like South Cobb. I went to South Cobb, all that. Okay. I'm, yeah, by south the flame. Yeah, yeah, as soon so as you funny. cross the bridge. You know what I'm saying? You okay. know what I'm saying? I yeah, I don't, even think, I don't even think that's Cobb for real. I don't even feel like that's Cobb too. But till, it is, though. Get it's Cobb. To get out the Cobb. exit, it is. Because for it, our viewers, as soon as you, uh, as soon as you, that shit say entering Cobb County, you, you entering Cobb. I don't give a fuck. And guess, and guess, who, and guess who gonna be right, right there? Them Cobb County police. Period. That's what everybody's scared of. The police yes. is not to play oh, with. Oh yeah, you going to jail? Talk count, about appropriation. You say you in jail busted. over there? Oh, you going to jail? Come, you on, jail. Yeah. come on, black boy. All that shit. Yeah, come on, black boy. You say you in jail over there? You're going to jail. Okay. What happened? No, I, every I time. went to jail coming from the Blue Flame one night. Talk I had a Crown shit. Vic. Look, I bought a Crown Vic. You bought a police car. <laughs> Wait a minute. Got a, a, a you bought a police. Crown Vic and Cobb. You Nigga. wanted to go. So y'all don't remember when Crown Vic's and box ships was oh, hot? Yeah. Remember? Yeah. So what is that talking about? The, but I your bought, mama didn't have to talk with you. We These didn't the have cars to drive you through Cobb okay, every me, day. Okay, let me put this out. Cobb County is home of successful black single mothers. Let's put it out there. Oh, they spoil y'all. They spoil us. So we're going to get whatever we want. We're going to do whatever we want. And we just going to act like y'all, but live in a better environment. Right. We act so like a lot of niggas, but we live. We got to just y'all go, go home to a nice spot. Brought the goddamn property <laughs> back. Go y'all got, up on I never said I didn't come from a good home. I, every a lot of Southwest Atlanta was very nice. They all got dishwashers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, this my is shit, different. We, and they ice house, come we out. They nice refrigerate. Like, like, our deal, like, but we, our shit was nice. Front, you know what we mean? had a four bedroom off of Deal Avenue. Nice as a motherfucker basement. You know what I'm saying? But. Basically. Anyway, <laughs> we got the shit. Y'all want to keep talking about growing up in homes, or you want to let them finish? <laughs> yeah, man. But listen, man. How did you? That's nice. <laughs> yeah. What's the craziest <laughs> shit you seen on Roast Battle, hotel. bro? Roast hey, Battle. I was about to say that's where it's coming What's from. <laughs> I love you, mom. <laughs> niggas about to fight. So this is we don't get to see this. Are y'all gonna do like a Patreon that we can see niggas yeah, about please, to fight? Bro, mm-hmm. the behind Some, the scenes. Please, bro. The behind-the-scenes. I don't know if niggas want to show that. Who they about don't. the squab? Tell us, nigga. I mean, you ain't got to show the squab, but just show the. You know what, I'm saying? what was the, the roast the that did it? Can you remember any of the roasts that made niggas ready yes. to fight? Brandon Brody. Shout Ooh. out to Brandon Brody. That's Brandon my dog. He's still my dog. Funny but he head. remember the episode. We was frying his ass up yeah. so bad because he got acne. Yeah, he do. And so like every joke would be a bump joke. A bump joke. And then joke. Hey, <laughs> I would hit the fucking cymbal on the drums. Oh, I remember so the class. So it was thing yeah. even harder. <laughs> and we would just everything like, shut up, boy. Your favorite song is bump, bump, bump. <laughs> Bam, <laughs> <team."> <laughs> Go crazy. <laughs> and then after we, it was like cut. And he was like, no, we, y'all not putting that shit out. No, no, no. <laughs> that shit ain't coming out. Wow. Like, Fuck all y'all niggas. That's how y'all feel? Like, that nigga. Oh, I was wow. just like, dude, if you wash your face now, by the time it drops. <laughs> That'd have been some more roast. Be a, you would have been in the game, you baby. Feel me? Let it's going to be a good it. story. Wow. You're going to wow. be a success story, man. Watch me. Look at my face now. Shout out. Him. Shit, what you going to call it? Uh, shit, this, this last one, them niggas finna fight. Mm-hmm. Finna. Mm. Well, two of them then. <laughs> yeah. I ain't know about Shout out to Buka Pony. We, nigga, we I had saw to fly, it. I was there. We had to fly back that night. Them niggas didn't talk or nothing. It was, it was so serious. funny. Shout I saw it. Shout out to Buka Pony. I saw it with yeah, this one good eye. You said we had to hit the fly back. Nigga, we had to fly back. These niggas didn't even talk. I want to know that part. They didn't even talk. They didn't sit across from each other. That nigga Buka Pony said, I had to call each one of their phones to see where they was at. I'm like, what boo at? I don't know. So I had to call. And we in the same airport. <laughs> Roasting uh, get real, bro. Yeah, but they so them. little yeah. though. It's so funny. So funny. So I saw it and I didn't even break it up because I was like, man, they might, you know what I mean? They yeah, might need man. to have to get. They but might something need to get else down. almost went down. Uh, Lavar and <laughs> what's the big, big, big whore? Really? Hell yeah, I didn't know they like. I didn't know they. I didn't know they. 
Well, I didn't know they had an issue. I didn't, either. I didn't, I didn't know either. that either. Well, damn, y'all didn't know. Yeah, I knew. Yeah. And then I had to find out up. why we filming. <laughs> yeah. So he keep going at that man's wife. And I'm like, man, you wow. can't keep doing man, that in my on, mind. Because that's just, I'm a human. Yeah. yeah. And I'm this a, is a show. That's I'm a not, that part ain't funny. No. This is a show. That's insulting. But he kept doing his wife. And you feel me? Like, LeVar got a good... Marriage for my look, so you know when you care, you can't keep going to the nigga who care about his wife. Yeah, for sure. Like Mm -hmm. he just kept going, like every rebuttal would be nigga, that's your wife. So I had to tell nigga, like, yo, cut, like we can't use this, bro. Yeah, you can't keep doing it when it's distasteful. Let alone doing it at all. But when it's not funny, it's even worse. It's like thirty times worse. You know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So you can't. You know what I'm saying? We can't use that shit. Cannot. (laughs) He was like, so I had to cut and tell him, you know, hey, bro, we can't use it. I know you might. That's probably why he got mad. Because the he cut is like, like, yo. But tell about how LeVar was coming too. back and making the But <laughs> fire LeVar is so course. funny. So funny, I had to, That nigga kept his poise. Because yeah. I would have, you know what I'm saying? I Stood was up. Like, let's go, let's go. Let's let me stand up and see right. if you're still so, saying yeah, exactly, that. bro. Mm-hmm. But, you know, LeVar kept his poise. He was like, no, nah, let him keep going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, no, nah, but what are we going to do about that eye? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Keep oh going. my God! Keep going. Yeah, that's funny. Atlanta, crazy. we it was a, we, we worked through a lot of issues in that that yeah, session. That was like I a mean, group comedy, building man. session. It's, that's what y'all comedy came is and a did. Competitive sport. It's a sport. You know what I'm saying? It's a solo sport, but you have teammates sometimes and you have opponents sometimes. But shout out to Horn though. That's a solid nigga. Man. A nigga roasted yeah. me on Tyler roast. I said, <laughs> what the fuck? A roast through the that roast. Was definitely weird. <laughs> what? I heard Miss Jen got crazy. It was amazing. Yeah, damn it. Shout out Miss Jen. Shout out Miss Jen. She's funny as fuck. Hey, Miss Jen funny, is bro. a star, bro. Roast the holler. She a star. Bro. Yeah, man. Miss Jen a star. I, you can How tell you? my camera just watching this shit, watching the act. Cause I see a lot of niggas doing this roast shit just on the different side. So yeah. I, I don't fully judge, but I can tell if you gonna, if you got potential under the camera. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. different niggas act different when it's time to be on. That light like action, camera action, action bro. He ain't saying that. He just was saying that. I'm like, nigga, say it like you just said it off camera. In the hall. And he can't say it. Damn it! Give us, and and I know it might you know it's a it's a list talk, but list your talk. top three all time roast me castmates. Mm. He finna get his DM blew up. Craig Smith got mm. to be Craig. I was looking that for that nigga. Come, he back time. cleanup. Craig, yeah, on one. Craig is the cleanup, bro. No one. C-P. 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 He's a monster. And CP really, monster. and really CP first. CP is just instant energy, bro. Mm. Like the nigga energy is just, because this shit is improv. We don't got no script. All Niggas right, don't yeah. get to review their jokes. Right. You know what I'm saying? And if you do, you feel me? It's like, that's weird. The but it's just like, we <laughs> improv. <laughs> and Craig. Just, as soon, all I do is say, welcome to Roast Me. And then after that, because I got to crank that bitch off you with an improv yeah, joke. Yeah. And mm. sometimes my shit fall flat. But, mm. you know, within the classroom and how we got the rhythm, they're just like, ah, and then they pick it up. Boom. But you need a nigga because everybody different. Yeah, because yeah, Craig and um, CP, they master, they have, like, backstory in the roast on the first word of saying it. You right. look like you work at da 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 Now, listen, when yeah, CP... Bro. Like he get the riff and he what, hit a what? joke that work, man. It's over for you. He's, he's done. Because he going shit yeah. Into your flesh. It's, it's like K Dub. Yeah. Like, just something. like K Dub. He finds something. He driving he that shit into your flesh going. and making the whole K-Dub story. K Dub was out like shooting. Shit. He was shooting. I said, yeah, "Boy, you man. got." I'm looking like, "Boy, you tore my ass up." K Dub funny. He did. He did. You saw the take funny. He was there. I was there when I said. I was seeing him tear his ass up right there. He tore me up. I like. But I gotta give it to Ronnie though. You played a good victim. Mm-hmm. But see, a lot of people of know you got to play a good victim, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So then just to make the quality of the episode hit, and then both of y'all hit. I'm building mm-hmm. the backstory. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna rise up saying? from the ashes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Atlanta, baby. So, so <laughs> here's a, here's a question. It's off the roast me shit, but kind of on the roast me shit. <laughs> Where were you when you either saw or somebody sent you Billy Sorrell's live? Mm, <laughs> mm, mm. 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 Let's talk about it. First of all, the nigga Billy got me blocked right now. Oh no! <laughs> Say words. So let's son. talk. Let's talk. Get to it. Uh, Say so words. Glad I asked. Me, he got me blocked. That's no way. So look, no me, way. Okay. Come on, Billy. He got me blocked. Come on, okay, man. Block let's talk Billy. about it, man. We gotta call Billy right when we get done. Well, we gotta call him. I don't yeah. know why the nigga is in his feelings. Cause it's Billow, nigga. I know it. Billow, baby. I Fuck. love Billy. But blocking is too far. It's too yeah, far. Yeah, you gotta Come on, be able to communicate. Come, yeah, come. We gonna right call him. But go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. When I heard that shit, bro, somebody sent me a clip. I can't put the comic out. I'm like, what? And then I went to. Oh, everybody see it. 
<laughs> what are you sending me? Right. Why, are you, why, are you, why am I getting this? I was on live when it happened. Sheesh. I'm like, damn. And I'm just like, damn. So then I'm start, I, call, I start calling niggas like, damn, y'all seen this Billy shit? And then I, I'm like, uh, y'all believe that shit? I'm like, I don't know. But then niggas tell me about D-Lay. Like, it does God, not give you that. Like, bro, I ain't no, never not, nigga. <laughs> got those vibes. I but I mean, vibes this nigga's a great dad. Nigga, that's Lizzo. <laughs> nigga, you yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm like, Lizzo. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit was just crazy. Right. But then the principal shit came into me after that. I'm like, if this shit ain't true, bro, you can't, you got to stand on that. Like, ain't no U-turn, ain't no goddamn my bad. It's just certain shit you just don't do. It's just certain yeah, shit that just cancel lie. out everything. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And like playing with somebody's career, at, mm -hmm. even just in general as a manhood, to mm -hmm. be blasting that shit out because that just made people second guess you anyway. You feel me? Like, niggas nigga, my son got Instagram, you bro. You feel me? My son, that's, dog, I, I, it's a lot of shit I can't do and that I, I won't tolerate because I have sons. It's like, I can't. Just I gotta stand on this shit cause we talking what? this shit every day. What, daddy? You suck dick, nigga. What? what? Can't hear that question in my house. I burn this whole house down. But the thing is, it's like it's like my nigga. Come burn on, this motherfucking house down. But to nigga. me, it's like I like. like Who told you that? How you gonna say it? Who told you that? <laughs> Who told you that? <laughs> <laughs> Who said the link? You can't do nothing but go crazy if that happened, nigga. What? Who said you this link? Your son be like, Daddy, you suck dick. And he's seeing your OnlyFans, Daddy. Who told you that? <laughs> Boy. And the thing is. God <laughs> damn. Where your mom at? Where your mom at? Yeah, but the thing is about it. comedy to me, it's like. Comedy is a sub genre already. Black comedy is a right. sub of a sub, right. and then we're in somewhere in the mix between that and social media. So it's hard enough to get looks. Funny motherfuckers need looks, but not like this. And it's like, we don't need mess right now. I feel right. like the black unity shit is working. The model is working. 85 South is showing that talented yeah, niggas do get along. That's why all money. the niggas yeah. that fuck with Billy actually hit him up and was making sure like, it wasn't even okay, about the dick sucking yes. shit. It was like, are you fucking yeah, gonna kill yourself? You good. No, no right, I, I, bro. I, 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 I for sure called Everybody. that nigga. I for sure called that nigga several times when he was uh, did it one time, and then I ended up calling Courtney. It's before I you know what, knew what was going on, but mm -hmm. yeah, I told Courtney to reach out to him like, nigga, call me, bro. Like if I gotta come get this nigga, I'll come get this yeah, nigga. Cause everybody had to you yeah. had to hit them up. Cause like, niggas fuck much. guys sometimes. What? <laughs> <laughs> not me. I'm talking about people be fucking. We know not true, but that was still weird. But I'm saying though, <laughs> it's not a big said. deal anymore. <laughs> God damn it, niggas. Is, we live in Atlanta. It's, but I'm just saying, who gives a fuck when you close nah, the door? Yeah, gives nobody a fuck? gives a fuck about what you're doing but in your way, room. The way you present it though. But who just do that, bro? Yeah, the way you like, present it, like on Instagram, in front of thousands. Come on, man. To to millions of people's. He was like, yeah, point. he sucked. My, my dick. dick. Yeah. <laughs> and then also, my man, I forgot, what's my man name, the, uh, the comedian that was on there? Oh, right? Derek Kim. Shout out to Derek Kim. Yeah, Derek was on there like, oh, no, nah, you mean like, how nigga be like, yeah. <laughs> so, right. Yeah, he tried to play with me. <laughs> shout, shout out to Derek. That nigga was so uncomfortable, bro. I felt so that bad. Nigga that nigga said, glad. He was on his bed. That, that nigga was stuck. <laughs> that nigga said, you mean proverbially, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really, he ain't know the word. <laughs> That shit. I put that word up. Preferably. I'm like, preferably. I know uh, he knows that word. Preferably. Uh, I was so shook. I was so shook for that man. He had to sit up on the bed. And he's like, I can't lay down and listen to this. Right. <laughs> I think I'm on a bed while you telling me. I didn't know you going to get like, this. I am on this clip. I thought y'all were just talking about beef. I ain't with Boy. Beef. Bro, that nigga eyes are stuck oh, so for why a you minute and a half. Man, I'm blocked because, okay. We got a podcast. Well, we had a podcast. We just canceled it. We had a podcast on All Def, the Roast This podcast. Mm -hmm. We did like 80 episodes. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So me, it was me, Billy, CP. Uh, it's the, it was Craig, but Craig quit. You know what I'm saying? So right. then uh, we would do this back. This is back when the uh, pandemic where you got the, you know, you at the house Zoom. It's a Zoom podcast right. at this time. You know what I'm saying? So we would sell ad space. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody, they own race car. You got so you, in your square, you can promote whatever. You feel Dope. me? So right. That was the thing. So these nigga prices was always too high. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These niggas, well, they want a thousand dollars from a nigga that's viewing. They don't got a thousand dollars. So I hit these niggas low, two hundred, three hundred, send my way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bust the block, block down, down buy a nickel bag. These, so these niggas. niggas ain't never getting no business. Hey, we're the last four boys at the foster home, also, <laughs> no, also known as More Than Culture. Do you have a business or not? Come to the More Than Culture program. 
And you can place your ad here, right on our show. You can have companies such as... Trim Hedges. Mm. We Pressure, advertise it. Pressure Wash Dryways. We'll advertise it. If you got a soccer game coming soon, we'll advertise it. Hey, even if you cut grass or hell, <laughs> it ain't no budget out of to there. get you to do a commercial. Mm. Solicitation genius. commercial. You should have been said. <laughs> That's a shirt. That's a shirt. <laughs> I need them to know too, cause your your money, we finna we gonna pop your business up. It ain't gonna be like when you watching Discovery and there be a nigga in the corner of the thing like, hey, <laughs> she waxes his bikini. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, your that trap, but they don't give a fuck though. Like you know what I'm saying? They what they do though, cause they they clown the shit. But you know what I'm saying? It's like that. I do, but I kind of prideful. But anyway, they really don't. But I guess they do. Mm -hmm. But this one viewer was like, I'm gonna pay twenty five hundred for everybody. Mm. Boom. But that, but it come through me, mm -hmm. so I disperse it as should. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I shot CP, boom. I'm like, boom, I shot to his little bread, mm -hmm. and then I was like, that's when Billy first started getting weird. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, we didn't know. We like, damn, he been, you know what I'm saying? He been a little weird. We yeah. don't know if he gonna be here, but I pay him if he be there. You know what I'm saying? So then, cut to, he didn't be there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I, but <laughs> I end up still having to pay him. But before I paid him, he would call. He would be calling like, "Man, when you gonna pay? Like, when you gonna pay? I need that little money. That little money. It was number two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. No, three hundred dollars." He calling me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, boom. Cut to. We paid the nigga. Okay, he felt some type of way because he had to keep calling me for money, and I would, you know, some I would answer his call sometimes. Mm -hmm. But I got real, real. I know what you want, Billy. You yeah. know, what I'm, I'm gonna pay you, cub. But I know what you want, and you know. Yeah. So then, cut to. We on the conference call with said. Me said, you know what I'm saying? CP, we in the conference call and we talking about future shit, right? And so they like, yeah, man, we're gonna do sponsorship sale. Like, we need to up the price. He was like, up the price. So I'm like, I'm cool. We can up the price. He was like, yeah, we can't do this no more all there for hundreds. You know, you should be asking like 5,000, 6,000. I'm like, I like that. You know what I'm saying? So then they, we like, who gonna handle the money? So Billy like, oh, Brandon B can't. He like, B can't handle the money because, you know, I, I can't be calling a nigga, uh, sweating a nigga for $300. And if we had been uh, in person, I'd hit you in your mouth, right? Yes. Nigga told me, go hit me in my mouth. I keep calm though, because in my life, how I grew up, it's like, we gonna fight, win, lose, or draw. If you, hey, we mm -hmm. just gonna see what it is, nigga. Yeah, you feel me? That's it. where I'm. That's how I raise. See what it is. Call Don't be scared. Count. I'm count. for call, nigga. <laughs> if you get me, you get me. You but get you gonna me, earn bro. that respect, though. You feel me? A nigga ain't gonna keep one to fight me. You feel me? So mm -hmm. it's just like you know what I'm saying. Win, lose, or draw. So I would. Just, I just kept quiet, and then they was like, "Oh, calm down." You know, a nigga kind of edged it up, like, "No, nah, calm down, Billy. You shouldn't have said that." And what? And he's like, "No, I'm hitting the nigga in the mouth." So then cut to, I'm just in my mind, I'm like, when we, we see each other, we just got to shoot it fair. Mm -hmm. We're going to shoot it get fair. Get it how it get. You know what I'm saying? So then we get off the conference call. So then he tried to call me like four times. And like I said, I'm from like, hey, man, once you spin that block, you can't U-turn. So you got to stand on that shit. So I just want to, I don't want to, I don't want you to try to wordplay me to an apology. Let me see your face. I want to wait to the energy. And then we match the energy. You know yep. what I'm saying? I so need to I see didn't, your face. You know what I'm saying? I didn't pick up. So then cut to somebody. Say he was wilding out again. I tried to go to a page and no post yet. Oh shit, wow. that nigga blocked me. <laughs> oh, so you been blocked before the shit then? No, nah. oh, oh, I was, don't know. This was after the dick sucking situation. Yeah, this after the dick sucking okay, situation. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, this after. This way after. This is when he tried to U-turn on the block. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like when he was saying like he didn't, you know, if you know he me. He said it like that. He would, have, he would evade the question when a nigga be like, niggas, you gay. What does it matter to you who's sucking my, like, you know, typical answer. So. Yeah, well, you that's just still my brother, made it yeah, yeah. Yeah. all the way to Patreon. <laughs> so <laughs> You yeah. went to Patreon and paid? No, you. this episode definitely okay. is costing oh, 40 nah. bucks. Definitely paid 40 for bucks. <laughs> this is a $40 episode. I definitely paid for no. I slept with your wife. Nigga, <laughs> 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 yeah, he definitely got my little five. <laughs> oh, damn. No. But see, I didn't know that. I that I was such a hard turn. Nigga, that was the I best shit I seen. I didn't get to watch Lizzo's fucking Bro, this shit was like oh, scandal, bro. Yeah. We shoot it to you. Oh, my God. Yeah, we got the best parts. We got like a highlight clip. <laughs> we got the real.
We got the we got his actor real. You know that saying? shit was so funny, man. Damn. Shout out to both of them niggas, though, man. Yeah, yeah, man. I just wanted. They, to, I just they wanted really got to fight now, though, for real. Man, what well, we got, got, got to fight? That's a Patreon. Got hit. Hit. Well, we yeah. got to hit. All nigga, nigga, punch everybody me. would pay a hundred dollars to see them nigga hit. <laughs> hey, man, that's not we got. But see, let me set the fight up, man. He having outlashes, bro. Like when you can't, when you can't control your emotions, that's woman. That's a woman in you. You know what I'm saying? But women are strong and they're great. No, but I'm just saying you can't control your emotions. <laughs> Not at my house, my boy. Uh, <laughs> Not let his wife watch this in here. You say Hell that. no. Bro. He said like a woman. You know, but no. you know, women are strong and, and great. <laughs> and great. They are. They're wonderful. They're queens. <laughs> that nigga said. That nigga sound like a little kid. Women are strong and great. <laughs> women are strong and great. <laughs> nah, real talk. They are. Fat. Yeah. Yeah, Amen. I know. So, yeah. um. <laughs> how, oh, how did, um. Right, roast stupid as shit. So how did the what was the bones of roast me like? How did that even get? Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, roast yeah, we'll stay, me. We'll stay with that. that shit bombed the first time we did it. Talk your oh shit. Oh my god, that shit bombed like a Exclusive. motherfucker. Exclusive. Like when the bing, first bing, time bing. we did it, they wanted to do it. Like the first time they did it, shout out to P Cloud, shout out to Patrick Cloud. Patrick Cloud is the creator. He created. Shout it. out shout to Pat Cloud, you know man. Saying? He came and to so Atlanta when he and had fun. It, he created it from his vision. Mm -hmm. So you know we had the turnstile where it was like a game show. It was dope as fuck. It just bombed. Oh, when they sit, when they be yeah, on the podium, no, and that bitch spins. Spin, spin, and then that just, shit was funny as hell, though. Like, yeah, yeah, nigga. Bomb, when Teddy though. Ray was hosting? Yeah, when Teddy yeah. Ray was hosting, shout out to Teddy Ray. That shit yeah, was Teddy funny Ray. as hell. So bro. then, you know, from now, I'm like, yeah, nigga, I roast. I do that shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, was, I, was a, I wasn't even the host. Mm -hmm. I'm roasting. So then cut to that shit, bomb. And then, uh, like, all death was like a fucking hangout. You know what I'm saying? So like niggas would be hanging out there Monday through Friday, but only the niggas who had the jobs was Patrick, Kev on stage, Tahir, and Meg. Mm. They really worked there. And Trevor Wallace, I don't think y'all know Trevor, but yeah, they nah. really worked there. So like the comics in LA or the niggas who was just cool with it, the, we could just come up there and hang. Mm. So we'd be basically, it was fucking like uh, Khadijah and Living Single when she worked mm. that word up. They were like, Shout out, oh, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Dope ass just think tank. Just hanging out while you working this shit. Yeah. So then, we always roast. So then that shit transformed to like at lunchtime. I'll be at the lunch table roasting. Roasting. So mm. then that shit turned into uh, that's when no, this is when Facebook lives just kicked off. When they when they, in Facebook introduced the live. Mm. So of course you know us being up there and then, then all deaf to business. They like take advantage of this mm. roasting at lunch. So niggas just roasting at lunch. So then that shit kicked back off. Well, we started, we filmed it. Season two was basically us in the lunchroom, the cafeteria. Yeah, and that shit that. hit. That you shit feel hit, me? Hit. That shit would hit. But during that, Teddy Ray quit. Because Teddy Ray not a roaster, but he a damn show easy target. You feel me? That and nigga so funny was, as fuck, No, bro. Teddy Ray funny as fuck. He just don't roast. Mm -hmm. He's just a good nigga. Just a good Some funny niggas don't roast. It's hard to go against roast. 19 comedians at one time. I'm going <laughs> right. to just let y'all know that. I thought he was funny as Nah, he is yeah, funny. Bro. Some niggas just don't roast. Some, yeah, some niggas just don't, don't roast. roast. Yeah. And he would get his ass toe up. You know what I'm saying? To to the point one lie, I mean one uh one one cafeteria episode, he quit. He was like, I ain't doing this shit. Cause we would tan his ass up. <laughs> <laughs> Find his ass he up. Saying that shit. Well, <laughs> we you proud of that? Are you proud of that? <laughs> yeah. I'm to get there, you, proud of, you proud of pushing somebody to their limit, Brandon? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got a fucking thrill out of it. Hell yeah. You like you <laughs> like triggering people's trauma? Thrill of the chase. Hey, have nigga. you have you ever been on a job and somebody quit though? Yes. Like just what you mean? Quit like because like, I roasted? No, just quit no, out of nope or just like oh, just, all the time. I had a nigga quit. After he pushed me down, me down. What? <laughs> 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 he pushed my head down. Like, Fuck this shit. Like, push, he pushed he you down. down. Yeah, I was roasting that nigga. That was nigga a, was strong. A, 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 <laughs> oh my god. That nigga was a Q dog. That Big nigga used to jail nigga. That nigga was strong. As and I was roasting him, but that nigga was breaking up with his girl. But I didn't know it. He told me the nigga. <laughs> and I was fucking this nigga. Oh man. I said, but why your arm parentheses? But I, was, <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking this nigga up. We trying to close, and I ain't doing nothing but leaning on the thing, That's roasting the shit out of this nigga. Oh my god. And that nigga said, Hey man, I'm going through something and push my head down. Hey man, I'm going through something. I call my mama crying. This nigga got them trap me, car. <laughs> my mama came up there with all the guns, falling out the car, nigga. Like, so yeah. kill this nigga. Bro, when no your reason. mama come up with the tool, that's so My mama was a cop, nigga. Oh she was like, God. who? What happened? Who, nigga? That's you didn't tell her you roasted him. Yeah, I did. Oh. After my, my dad said, put that shit. <laughs> 
Sit down. Sit down. Well, dude, you, you should have got your ass whooped. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> sit down. You, you got your ass whooped. Do you, you work tomorrow, nigga? Nigga, shit. that's funny. <laughs> so, that's okay, funny. so Teddy Ray quit oh, and then. Shit. Then we was looking for hosts. Like, the next couple of weeks, we were just looking for hosts. So then they were just like, fuck it. They tried to hear it, to hear them work. And then they was like, fuck it, be Luke. I will kill him. Mm-hmm. They like making my host, yeah. Come I like on, how you Carl gotta let County. niggas know you nice, son. Yeah. This nigga yeah. like I'm you know me. Yo, nigga, I took my spot, son. Yeah, and LA, Yo, you gotta earn your stripes on that comedy shit. Yeah, earn your stripes mm-hmm. on that shit. So talk about go like being the com- you started comedy LA or here? I started here. Nigga, okay. I bombed my third show. Yeah, let's talk about show, it. Third show, boy, bomb like a motherfucker. Where were you at? Uptown of Comedy course. Club yeah. Tuesday mm-hmm. night. Mm-hmm. Which one? On Tuesday. Which one? Duval. Duval. Oh, you was around That's Marietta this. Street, nigga. Oh, ass. niggas used to Be take it, it in the face on that one. Nigga, what? Let but me it was tell the you the whole grand your third time. time. This is my third time. I did an open mic in Stone Mountain. Mm-hmm. I did good. Mm-hmm. Then I did uh, Uptown Wednesday night, and Griff was hosting. This one, Griff was hosting. Two trailers. Yeah. That was doing the keys. That when the keys first came out. But then I did good. I right, come back on Tuesday. That's good, though. And that's what he keys. Listen, listen. Come on Tuesday. You good. Listen. You got it, nigga. Like, you got it. Like, you got it. Hey, homie, like on Tuesday. Tyler, on that's Tuesday. what I did. Look, I did good, right? So then I never forget. This nigga was like, hey, you funny. He was like, but you should do people your age. Because mm. Griff had an older night. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, you should do people your age. He was like, come back next Tuesday. We're going to throw you right up. Right? And I'm Third like, hell time. yeah. And I think I'm like, hell yeah. And then as he was walking away, he turned around. He was like, hey. But they boo. And <laughs> the nigga just kept walking. The nigga just kept walking at the told me But that. they boo. Uh, what is the name of the episode? <laughs> but they boo. That's funny. So I'm thinking like, yeah. I'm thinking like, I'm, I don't really, can, I, you know, I couldn't comprehend what a boo was. You know what I'm saying? As far as like, I, you know, what it's going to do to you. Yeah, this is my second time ever doing stand up. Wait a minute. The, the voice of a nigga telling you they boo is Griffey 2 trillion. Yes. Thing. All right, homie. Hey, but they boo. <laughs> <laughs> and walk That is perfect in a movie, off. nigga. That's, That's the amazing. perfect nigga to do that in a movie. Look, so, I'm like, Bro. whatever, nigga. Like, in my mind, I'm like, whatever. But I'm like, hell yeah, I'll be here. Nigga, mm-hmm. I'm going to be here, right? Okay. Nigga, they boo, nigga. I boo, nigga. I'm the boogeyman, nigga. <laughs> I had a manager. Boogity boo, nigga. You had a manager oh, third, third time. time third time. That's so hilarious. That sounds yeah. hilarious. That sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I had a better First of all, hold on, let me tell y'all. Before, you. Okay, I, I, I want MTV Your Mama. I, I want an episode on MTV Your Mama. Yeah, you so did. that's why okay. after that, you had niggas your in my on. hood, like, we got we about to blow a nigga. Like, yeah. 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 And it no, was the nigga who the manager. It was my homeboy, homeboy. Kevin. Shout out to my homeboy, Kevin. Man, Kevin Carter. Shout out to Kevin. So shit. That nigga was like, yeah, nigga, I'm going to be your manager. Nigga, we finna do stand-up. Yeah. But this, I didn't comprehend stand-up. I could just, I of just watched not. it. I ain't never thinking. You know, he was like, yeah, nigga, goddamn, write some shit. We finna blow. <laughs> yeah, he had a pretty First much. show. He got me my first show. Little did I know, as I, as a, you know what I'm saying, the mature comment, it was an open mic. And then yeah, got my first got show. Got me my first mic. open mic. You feel me? <laughs> that was his first show. Nigga wrote my name on the list. But he did give me the second show with Griff at Uptown. Church. So boom. So then he, he working. Exactly. And he mm-hmm. was there. You know what I'm saying? So we come back next Tuesday. This bitch packed. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about wall to wall, wall, all street Every niggas, Tuesday. strippers. This bitch jumping like a club. And then fucking T.I., Young Dro, Tiny, all walked in. Got their section. They got the section right, right there. The there by the stage. stage. Right yeah. by the they stage. got their whole section. They bitch packed. Mm-hmm. Little Duval walking around. I, I walk in that bitch with my knowledge. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 this is funny. Right. I walk in that bitch with my manager is the name of the episode. That's your shirt, nigga. I walk in that bitch with my manager. manager. I walk in that bitch with my manager. You know what I'm saying? That's a single, nigga. I walk in that bitch with my manager. I walk in that bitch. That shit packed, nigga. I'm talking about packed. So my manager flat down Lil Duval. He like, hey man, this Brandon Lewis, this comedian, and I'm just standing there like, ah, yeah. yo, I walked in the bed with my manager. Work it, JT, he work like, it. Yeah. <laughs> he, my, he my, walked in the bed with my manager. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> he give him a run. Now he like, this comedian, Brandon Lewis, he funny as hell. Yeah. And the Duval like, okay, I don't know if he, you know what I'm saying? He's like, I don't know if I got no time on the show. Yeah. He like, man, come on, my my boy. Was just like, man, come on, man, he funny. Put him good up. Good manager, man. come on. That's like, a good ass manager, so, boy. Uh, the Duval like, all right, nigga, all right, nigga, like, <laughs> yes. like uh, write his name down. Wrote a name down on a piece of paper. He said, okay, nigga, I'll, you know, I'm going to bring him up. Put this in the pocket. Boom. Club jumping. It's packed. Lil Duval get on stage. He's saying some jokes. But they still kind of chatty, you know. So I'm like, damn. Looking back, I'm like, damn, they don't even respect this nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
That's the worst man. sign. Man, I don't even <laughs> respect Did you see this. that nigga turn into an open mic nigga for 10 seconds? Man. He said, damn. Damn. <laughs> damn, bro. That's how the water hit, nigga. I just nutted. I said, look, look, Duval. Y'all got water Hump back chunk, nigga. That's how you feel that dude in the brown room, bro. Nigga. Dude, brown room is a soul Ooh. check, nigga. Nah, I mean, dude, brown Don't turned into a white boy in my head. No, you can do this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy, that's not let so nothing bad. negative come in my head to do brown room. No, so no, bad. you do this. You're funny. Remember that one joke? <laughs> like, they love me to the brown room. Go, I promise. When you get to the hookah. I be roasting the shit out them niggas in yeah, that boy. Sir. So hold on. Right, so all right, so boom. He upstage. They ain't they ain't kicking it with him. He on stage. He got them. It's basically like he tussling with them niggas. Mm -hmm. So then he like, all right, man, we finna bring the first comic up, man. God this damn, out the pocket. Out the pocket. <laughs> Listen, though. Wait, yeah. bro. I'm trying to show y'all how fucking hard this was, okay? Yay! Yeah. Hey, we all got saying. scared when that nigga reefed that pocket. Like, oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Don't you do he's, that. He's not ready. It's his third time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't was, you do that to Brandon. I was so... <laughs> we like Brandon. He won your hey, mama. He's going to be good. Hey, he won your mama. He's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you, you know, but what you didn't see is all the comedians trying to duck I into the wall nigga, that was scared to go see, up. I didn't, know, I didn't see. I lost that. I just saw audience. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know. You, know you didn't even see the hand go in the know, pocket. Yeah, I didn't even know the car. I just thought. And he had on some big jeans yeah, too, so I know it was easy. Wow. It was paying $100 to lean against the nigga, wall in that, that bitch, bitch, bro. That bitch was packed, nigga. And I remember Tilt walked in with his hood. Like on some like the crowd. Like, don't fuck with me. Y'all don't really know me, I'm thinking in my mind, if I kill niggas, it's my life. I'm getting signed by Grand Hustle. New manager. What? New manager. First off, Kevin got to go. I need school to run. Yeah. You be thinking of your third time, Ooh. you gone. So, so you wasn't nervous or you just hype? No, I'm like, ignorance is bliss on time, bro. Yeah. I don't even know. I'm just like, oh, this is a moment. This now, where I'm you know what I'm Yeah. I'm, th I'm thinking, I hope, was I in there? Because I'm oh, thinking. Oh, no, I know. I know. So, you know, you weren't in there. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, it was an epic night. So, <laughs> he like, all right, man, that first nigga, been, he been begging me to go. He better be funny, right? No, he did not. Oh, I swear to God, he like, he better be funny, man. Y'all give it up for Brandon Lewis. And you know that walk to the goddamn Yes, yeah, sir. So I'm got so because I'm in. I this, never made it. <laughs> I'm in the crowd oh. against the wall. Oh god! Like the first row, so I'm like, oh shit. Slide. Put my little Corona down. I remember I had a Corona. <laughs> and goddamn, you got a drink? Oh no, my god! Put my Corona down. Walk, walk, walk on stage. I'm gonna like, grab the mic. I'm like, how y'all doing? Yeah, baby, carjacking in Atlanta. That's us. Yeah, yeah, they be carjacking. And then one nigga was just like. I just see him. I just heard one nigga be like, boo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, boo. It only take one, bro. That, that, that nigga it was, the, he was the, the, uh, the leader of the yeah. orchestra. That nigga was he the boo star. He was giving you a little chance though, uh, to push through that. Boo. That nigga I was the boo even, star. I don't even know. I don't even know. He know. was. And then that's your blacked out. You know what happened? Hey, hey, you start, know how you push the car in? It just started. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> then that one nigga was just like, boo. And then next thing I know, I just don't like it. It's just like the crowd was like, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Yeah, cause, cause they weren't not. ready yet. Yeah. Cause you, he, what, he wasn't booing. Yeah. Cause yeah. booze alone. Yeah. He, that was a command. Right. That's like, that's on, on y'all. He was like, right. yeah. He did it like Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> Anoint the booze. <laughs> yeah. This is like, <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> like I don't move, but y'all right. right. <laughs> Boo. Right, so, so did you did you just so slide? Then, uh, I can't even remember. It just went blurry. After that. <laughs> <laughs> you got PTSD. I just remember just, I remember some strippers in the front, and then everybody was just like, "Boo!" <laughs> and as I cast, I'm just like, "What?" <laughs> shit was bright. That's it. So I'm like, "All right." <laughs> <laughs> he just said, "All right." I put that bit back in the stand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Ooh, everybody, everybody can relate. I put it in the stand. Hey, at love play some crazy <laughs> shit. End of the set. Well, I right. love you. Play some crazy <laughs> shit with niggas, boo boy. No, no way. <laughs> I put that back in the stand. I'm like, all right. <laughs> and then you gotta take that long walk back, Ooh. right? So goddamn, I'm uh, walking back, me and Duval cross paths. He just shaking his head, like looking forward, just shaking his head, right? So I get off, 
He's like, all right. He was like, man, y'all, man, y'all don't do that, man, like that. He was like, he was like, yeah, you, you know, y- y'all give it up, man. Call him back to the stage. Oh, come back, Brandon Lewis. My God. So I walk up. So now I'm standing next to this nigga oh, like a like God. like a you know <laughs> like a, a fucking orphanage. You know what right. I'm saying? Like I'm a fucking yeah, orphanage. Like now. you know what I'm saying? Like they trying to goddamn vote for how much money I'm finna get. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm standing next to this nigga and he like, y'all know what to do. And then DJ and Love, give me, give me, give me. Oh, Drrr, yo. Bye, bye. Kill yourself. Kill and the only thing yourself. I could see was like young Dro, like, yo, dude. <laughs> All your All stars. Like, you got blurry, and you just focus on I him. Dro, like, ah, like, the Dro laugh. The Dro point and laugh. Oh man. my God. Kill wow. yourself. Fra, fa, fa, fa. Man, I just was standing there. <laughs> And then I just walked off, oh, bro. And I pull out my phone. You ever try to pull your phone out instantly to like to hide from shit? But I had one of them flip up bitches, and I was flip that bitch off. <laughs> I'm like numb at this point. I don't know what's going on. Whoa. <laughs> That's oh. what I couldn't comprehend it back then. Like when you bomb, you don't even oh. like you're yeah. dead. That's your that's you're your day. Like you remember everything you had on. Right, you're dead, bro. Bro, nigga, they used your to have third a time. That's a yes, horrible bro. third. They bomb. used to have a nigga Boy. in a Batman suit dancing. <laughs> if you bomb, <laughs> nigga, be, that's a horrible time. Horrible time to bomb nigga, your third I just, time. And I remember my. My homie mama was there on some random oh, shit. Oh, the homie moms. Yes, cause my best friend Dorian came and his mama just was random as hell. At and the she club. was like, "You okay?" <laughs> 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 She's like, "Hold on, I gotta check on my son, friend." Right. She was right. His mama was just random as fuck. Oh, they shot was random as fuck. I gotta call her son. Yeah, they shot him. Up. They shot Brandon. Bro, no, and she, brought him back up. No, she would hit that Crown Royal. Told her, "I gotta go. That's my neighbor. That's my friend, <laughs> baby. That's, That's my." My baby's, that's my baby's son. That's my, I got to go over there. I got to go over there and see what's up. <laughs> they play basketball. No, together. no. I'm going to order some chicken. I'm going to get some chicken. Here on a date. date. <laughs> no, Damn, yeah. that's funny. Yeah, I mean, I hate it happen to you, boy. But, and then, but then after that. That's your so origin I, story, I nigga. I stayed and watched the show. You got oh, to. Who came up but, after you? So, okay, so. All right, boom. So I don't remember the next nigga who came up. But then the next nigga who I ended up remembering was Jack Thriller. He went by Honey Bun at the time. Mm-hmm. Right? So they were like, coming to the stage, Honey Bun. <laughs> he came out there, they booed his ass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then I felt, I started to feel back away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is oh, like the other people. Then I'm Griffey like, okay. in the back of your head, they booed. They right. they booed <laughs> I'm starting to kind of feel back normal, right? Mm-hmm. So they booed that nigga. I'm like, damn, why they booed that nigga, right? And then <laughs> after that, it was like another nigga went up. And then they started the show. I didn't know that. Then it was like, okay, now the show about to start. The new ball came. <laughs> Niggas, we paid. You, you know what I'm saying? It was like, all right, come first, come to the stage, uh, Scruncho. And this was, was I, this is our first time. It was, my, it was my first ever comedy show. So Scruncho come, he was cripped out. This is when he was cripped out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He was like, yeah, homie, all this. He was skating on the stage and shit. Mm-hmm. And then his watch broke. Mm-hmm. And like, mm-hmm. I don't know if that like triggered them. <laughs> but they was like, <laughs> it, was, it was like, like they was like, yeah, homie, clink. It's like they, it's like the crowd and him looked at his watch at the same time, like a steroid. It was like they just was like, boom. Yo, watch that real way. We don't give a fuck about these jokes, bro. It was like it was like they was they was both in the dive for the watch. It was just like this. Yeah, this episode Ooh, now costs three thousand dollars. Oh my god! Who <laughs> this motherfucking ass? Yes, sir. I never forget. He was like, I don't give a fuck, nigga. And he <laughs> went and got his watch. He, he went in the crowd and got his watch. Oh, like, nigga, oh I don't give wait, a fuck. wait. Yes. He went in the crowd. <laughs> yeah, you got you got to, no. Wait, in some skates? No, bro. <laughs> in some skates. <laughs> He moved niggas out the way to get his watch. He jumped off the stage in skates. Yo, that watch belongs to the street. Oh, man. Hey, no disrespect to Scruncho. That's OG. Shout out to Scruncho. Damn, man. he would punch hey, me in the face. Hey, so funny, man. man. That's so Scruncho funny. Story, but go ahead. Who else came up? Then oh. after that, uh, TK Kirkland. Mm, oh, man, that nigga beasted. Mm. And that was the first time I just seen a comedian like, like oh, this is shine. Comedian shit. And he just ripping. 
He just, I'm talking about he got the, uh, the necklace and like he just ripping. He, I remember how he specifically, you know, he hold the cord over his shoulder on some just gangster shit. Yeah. He would grab the mic and he like, yeah. It was like a, it was like a gun. <laughs> Holster. Yeah. <laughs> and he'd just be like, just talking. He was talking to them and the bitches was going crazy. Mm-hmm. And after he got. That's when your friend mama was in it. <laughs> <laughs> he keep going back to him. Oh, bro. DJ was in town, nigga. <laughs> nigga was mama That's why she up. was there. That's yeah. why yeah. she was there. They gonna pull up to CTK, goddamn. Hey, to the motherfucking cab. <laughs> That's what he hey, would have the crowd saying. Niggas know saying. your mama, dog. Oh, shout out to man, shout that's T funny, to the motherfucking cab. T nigga. to the motherfucking cab. The crowd oh, was my the crowd God. was screaming that shit. He, yes, was, he was like, why the nigga mama yeah. was here? <laughs> and then he was just like, after his shot, like, as soon as he ended, like, you know, the let out at the uptown of Dick. And that shit was packed, nigga. They were all the bitches was trying to get pictures with him and shit. I was just like, damn. TK. Like, that's Shout out comedy, TK, bro. man. Like, damn. That's a legend. Oh, legend, man. legend. Ooh, man. That's, yeah, that's a great fucking bomb story, man. Yeah. We usually oh, ask my. about him, but you gave it to us, and we appreciate it. My nigga. It. Shit. That nigga said Dro was looking at me. Dro was looking at me like, hi. You ever see the Dro laugh? Like, hi. <laughs> nigga, like, show the lean. That's I the bitch. Like, that nigga Polo <laughs> Fresh and Fall. He got another one. <laughs> he got Anybody else you remember that night? No, that was it. That was it. Just, that was just, and I ended up being like, damn, Honey Bun was Jack, Jack Thriller. Yeah. So, how long before you, your next time on stage? Because sometimes you man, bomb and you said, chill out. Fuck this shit. My manager was like, <laughs> he was like, man, we can, man, we can bounce back. Good man. Give me a story. Like, man, I'm like, fuck manager. this shit, dog. Because like, right. it was you that said, that did right. all the talk. Right. But I didn't look, even say I was the next Hold time out. This was, I bombed on my comeback, bro. So. <laughs> <laughs> Not the comeback bomb. How long was it? Hey, bro, that's a shirt. How long was it? How long was it? Long was it? This, uh, let me just. A bomb on my comeback is a know, shirt, bro. <laughs> it could have been like a year. This shit could have been like a year or so. Mm-hmm. And I remember just getting teased by my homies. Like, nigga, you quit. You know, stand up. You know what I'm saying? So I remember I'm like, man, fuck it, nigga. I, man, I, I'm cut to. I went back to Uptown on a Wednesday. Laugh Love was hosting. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right? Shout out Lab so Love. now I just went with my brother. It was me, my brother, and then my uh, couple, couple of my friends. So we went up there. I remember I had a leather jacket. Yeah. <laughs> really, right? <laughs> Laugh <laughs> probably did too, goddamn. He <laughs> 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 had a motorcycle jacket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember I had my leather jacket on, and then he called me to the stage, like, come in, it's Brandon Lewis. And I'm like, he just got hot. <laughs> 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 I'm like, oh, that's so goddamn funny. (laughs) 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 Oh my god. (laughs) Oh god. This is so funny, (laughs) dog. It just got hot. Like the jack, I tried to like catch a flap of wind. I tried to catch like a flat line. A flap of wind. Uh, trying to get some wind. That nigga say, man. A little gust in that thing. Wow, oh, man. Being on stage uncomfortable is <laughs> a whole <laughs> show by itself. <laughs> oh, man, that's this all the weed I got, man. <laughs> you can have it, man. You real funny, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, bro. You funny all the time, but God damn, I did, this is so funny. <laughs> nigga. This nigga giving up all kind of shit. Boy, uh, this shit cost... Th- 1700 on the Patreon. <laughs> oh, no. I slept with your wife. <laughs> he said it again. I nigga Tyler did it again. <laughs> Bill, up, up, no, up. Wrong. <laughs> then the next thing is a video of Billy on, on live. Said, yeah, Tyler. <laughs> I can, I can, Bill, old nigga. I can guarantee you that won't happen. He going to say to me, Ronnie, are you fat? <laughs> <laughs> I can guarantee my name won't come up. <laughs> I, can, I put my life on it. <laughs> oh, Lord. I can guarantee it. <laughs> I can guarantee it. That's oh, hilarious. I got yes. one left. One left. <laughs> it's going to be a doozy. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, no. We're, this shit going on Triller. <laughs> that we know. We're we, we, we we going to be a verse. First one on it's Twitch. Gonna be a Ooh, shit. So, all right. So, I, uh, I wanted, I had, glad you started off with comedy in Atlanta because I wanted yeah. to ask you about when you went to LA, the difference and how that yeah. was, like one of your first times there. How long did you take to do that? Shit, I went to LA. I can't even. I went. Well, I, went I went. I went to LA 2009, October 2009, mm. and I only stayed for a month. I just stayed for the month of October, mm-hmm. and then I was like, "This shit lame as fuck," because I didn't know <laughs> nobody. I was like, "This shit lame as hell." Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't know nobody or nothing. <clears throat> but my dad from LA, mm. so that's why 
Hence, I was able to go. You know what I'm saying? So I stayed with him. Okay. So it was like a backstory of me, you know what I'm saying, finally hanging with my dad and shit like that. So, oh, nigga, he is ready for ABC. That's Boys in the Hood. That's dope. You went to live with Furious Styles? Moving in with your dad to do a comedy? That's your sitcom. Nah, facts. But it's like. It is a good sitcom. It is a good sitcom. I was like, this shit lame as hell. And my best friend at the time, Kenny McKinley, played for the Denver Broncos. So, receiver, huh? Yeah, right receiver. Mm-hmm. Yep. He was like, man, just come back to Denver. You know what I'm saying? Because I left from Denver to right. L.A. Be my manager. No, he was just like, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that was just my dog. He was <laughs> no, just like, man, he was like, man, just come kick it, nigga. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? He getting money. He was like, just come kick it, nigga. So I'm like, yeah, I came back. I went to Denver. I went to Denver the next month, nigga. So I'm in Denver, just goddamn, just living the life of an right. entourage, nigga. Fucking you know what I'm saying? Bitches. Hanging out with Champ Bailey, all type Ooh, of shit. Champ Bailey, oh, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah, bro. Sheesh. Love Champ Bailey. That shit was just cool as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This nigga trying so, to tell us he bang many hoes. White. <laughs> <laughs> bang many hoes. And they were white. Smoked the best weed in the country. It was fun. Denver. <laughs> this shit was fun, yeah. y'all. And then, you know. Like December, like Christmas time came, and then I was just like, man, what the fuck am I doing? I don't want to be no entourage nigga. I don't right. see myself, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, doing damn, that. what I'm, you know what I'm saying, supposed to do? I want my own pussy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so then I was just like, I was just praying, and then it was just like, boom, God mm-hmm. gave me the sign to go back to L.A. So I went mm-hmm. back to L.A. January 2010. Come on, okay. And then I'm just like, Top of the year, let's get it. it. I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to do this shit. Mm-hmm. And, but then here's the cold part. Like, my dad, I didn't know nobody. I had no transportation no nothing but this nigga would not take me around he's like <laughs> that's the shit yeah, good, that bro. i would, I would be looking at open mics like i didn't know where that shit i'm like dad you could take me little he's like hell no nah. like <laughs> but we stayed in the 30s okay i stayed mm. i stayed off of western and 30th you feel me okay. so i didn't know how far hollywood was how far is that that shit is for, that that's from, what I, from like that's like clayton house minutes, 30 minutes clayton english house to hollywood about 20 minutes. 20. Mm-hmm. But, but I'm they ain't got gas. no car and ain't no Uber in and 20. The gas it was no team. Uber in 2010. The gas is $4. Yeah, the yeah, gas is $7. Yeah. <laughs> back then, yes, nigga. Yes. Mm-hmm. Bro, wow. it wasn't no Uber back then or nothing. Damn. And I remember my the dad. The union was like, wasn't. Yeah, the union was, but I didn't okay, even it was, know it. You know about it, yeah. But so then he was like, yeah, you can uh, catch the bus. You better, you better learn them bus routes. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Right? So I'm like, fuck. Mm. Blanked it out my mind. I'm like, fuck it, boom. Yeah. So you riding the bus out the 30s? That's hilarious. Oh, I forgot this. <laughs> Look, <laughs> fact, go in. that was what right. set was it? That was a uh, 30 crib. Mm-hmm. They do the thumbs up shit. You know what I'm saying? I know all that uh, shit. Had to learn it. Had, had, had to nigga, had before to, you get nigga. in that fucking bus. Nigga, I stayed across the street from Dinker Park, nigga, and I didn't oh, know that man, shit was a wow. fucking breathing ground of Ooh, fucking gangbangers. You really? know what I'm saying? That was their home that's turf. Where you, like, that's where you got just with a respawn. They layer. That's what that's that's home base. Yeah, that's what the shredder be at. It's like where they shot baby bro at. Hey, hey yeah. MacArthur Park. <laughs> MacArthur hey, Park. Hey, MacArthur Park. In his ass. Hey, MacArthur Park. Park. MacArthur Park. Park. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's like three parks where niggas get fucked up, and that's one of them. Yeah, Damn, yeah, that's crazy. Dom how, you like in your 20s, though, at this time? Yes, 24. Okay, okay, 24 when I moved to L.A. Mm-hmm. So then, shit, I remember, I, I forgot this out. When I first went to L.A., it was my first time ever in October. The Taste of Soul was in October. And I remember when I went to Taste of Soul with my auntie, I had met a comedian, ended up being Memphis Will. Uh, I don't know if y'all know comedian Memphis Wheel. He was passing out flyers for his night at the Union. Mm-hmm. So cut to back to January, I'm like, okay, I know about the Union. I remember that shit. Damn. And it was on Monday nights. Mm-hmm. He would have open mic night and whatever. You mm-hmm. can come up and do your shit, right? So boom, I remember I went to the first night, and I was the first comedian, and my first friend I met was Chinadu Yunaka. I don't know if y'all know Chinadu. Shout out Chinadu, yeah. Yeah, that was my, basically my first friend, the first nigga I met when mm-hmm. I came. I met this nigga like, hey, what's up, bro? He was like, I'm yeah. chin. Boom. So then cut to that same night, I ended up meeting London Brown, uh, Stevie J. I don't know if y'all can yeah. remember Stevie you know J. We just did a uh, More Than Cannabis with C. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Stevie yeah. J. Uh, Chase, Anthony. I don't know if y'all, Chase. Yo, yeah, yeah, I just met yeah, Chase, Chase with Sid. Yeah, see, he yeah. was kicking with Sid. Yeah, yeah. Chase. Uh, and let me see, Dewan Brown. I don't know y'all, Dewan Brown. And uh, who was it? Who else? I think that's it in our class. I'm leaving out a couple other cats. Y'all, y'all was know. like just starting. Though. Yeah, all just starting. Yeah. Nigga. Boom. So we would do that every Monday in Memphis. He he hustled us back then, but he actually taught us, <laughs> yeah. right? Because he had to be a bringer show, and in order to, and you only got three minutes, mm-hmm. and he would be like in the back where we hang out. He would just kind of be on some like pimp shit, like y'all got three minutes. Because then when y'all he was always tell like when y'all get a Hollywood set, this all you getting is three minutes. Yeah. So I'm waving the light at two. And like, so mm-hmm. it would be a thing for Memph because he would do his time. And his time would be 30 minutes, mm-hmm. 45. Uh-huh. But 
we filling the fucking audience up and he rocking yeah, the crowd that we brought for yeah. the, you know what I'm saying? So, but he would run his shit so fast. So it'd be 10 slots, everybody got three minutes. And he would just be running that shit. Boom, 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 yeah. boom, boom. And then his segment, he'll go up and end the night, close the night or whatever, okay? <laughs> so then cut to, we finally, we was just, we was still unknown, bringing Pope, packing it out, packing it out, packing it out. And then shit, more open mics and I started meeting other comedians like Real Battle. Real Battle was the Shout first comedian real. I made. Jamar Neighbors was another one yep. I uh, made. All them niggas, up. bro. Yeah, That's what's nice, up, man. bro. Yeah. Grinding it out. Sydney. I remember Sydney meeting Sydney. Shout I, I met all the bitches from scratch. Tony Baker, you know what I'm saying? Ended up being a real close friend. He's still my close friend to this day. Mm -hmm. I met that nigga on the grind. Mm -hmm. Atheon. I met Atheon mm -hmm. on the grind. At all. Yeah, dope, Atlanta. Could, I mean, LA could get weird on the comedy scene until right. you get you a group. But anywhere though, you got to have you a yeah. class of comedians that's around that you can go through ups and downs right. with. Because like you said, you didn't have nobody at first. You quit Fact. immediately. Like Fact. fuck this shit. You yeah, got yeah, homeboys yeah. and shit that's in it. They can be like, did you? I, I, my bad. Did you quit off of bomb, <laughs> or did you just um, step off? I feel can like remember? people was laughing at me and not mm. with me. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, Remo, get it in here. Nigga, Remo took a hiatus. No, yeah, comedy. I took a hiatus I, too. Nigga, I took one too. Nigga, Hell yeah. I bombed twice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I took two hiatuses. I can't even tell you the gap. I know I was 24 when I went to LA, but nigga, I, I for sure was 21. Like my first, probably mm -hmm. 22. Nigga, I Several a, months. Yeah, nigga, I took a hiatus, nigga. Yeah. When I came back with my leather jacket, nigga. He thought she was Eddie nigga, I Murphy. Thought I was ready. He was like, I wasn't dressed right. <laughs> I wasn't, bro. He like a star. He said, I'm gonna wear a jacket. Wasn't dressed right again. I wasn't dressed right again. It's hot. It's hot up there. It's crazy. Man, oh, that's what's up, bro. But now, now, do you since you hosting roast me and roast battlegrounds? Yeah. How is it the in road. the public? Is niggas because it's post COVID and I don't like people close to me. Is niggas trying to roast you as soon as they see you now, like mm. everywhere? Have you have you traveled for enough me? To see? For me, like it's a this is a they got a big audience. I was surprised, you know what I'm saying? Because I remember one uh, time we went to Florida and the receptionist was more geek to meet me than Atheon. No shit. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh wow, Nigga, that's amazing. They was giving me uh like. Like sent me up a champagne, a bowl of fruit. That nigga was trying like, to smash. Yeah. He was trying to fuck <laughs> oh, up. Hey, hey, he was trying to beat. What room you in? Hey, he told me. He was like, damn, that nigga he was a fan. He was like, damn, you're funny. He was like, he didn't even know yeah. Avion. Word. You know what I'm saying? He didn't know Avion. Yeah. That's what I was like. You be getting I'm, niggas to their shift, bro. Mm -hmm. All definitely. Yeah, that yeah, was the first time work. I was like, damn, this shit. In and the then truck? I, like, I get stopped all the time, bro. And that shit is shocking to me. Like, damn. Nah, that shit is amazing. Y'all put together a great shit. That shit shocking to me. Them niggas be Everybody is like, at least once a day. Yeah. If See, I'm out, a, if I'm out and about, at least once a day somebody going. Yeah, I mean that's like, damn, bro. That's the heart of comedy. I mean, there's some comedians that came. I mean, shit, D.L. Hewley, for example, like yep. he didn't really come and give you a set. He Fence. just came to talk. He would walk through the crowd and he'd fuck Fence. with people. In the old really first was. season with the corn, right, bro? Yeah, fuck so that nigga was roasting this nigga. He told this nigga to, that nigga D.I. Look before I knew what stand up was, nigga, I would love to watch Dio roast niggas. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite Nigga, show. I would love to watch when he that roasts. I couldn't piece. wait to watch that on Comic View. He be roasting that niggas. That nigga crowd. said, look, it's the last Jerry Carey in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, he said, where you get that from? A wizard in a cave? Yeah. <laughs> that nigga said, he yeah, said, it's a wizard in a cave talking about hiffle wiffle diffle <laughs> dude. I have got a Jerry Carey just for you, uh, nigga. nigga. Beast, man. A beast, well, I'm bro. I'm talking about Ooh, niggas dude. is going to school repeat that shit. I didn't shit. even know listening to Robin Harris album one day that he fucking opened up for Robin at the night that he filmed his special. Bernie really? Matt. No. No, uh, D.L. Yeah. Hughley. Oh, really? He opened yes. up for Robin Harris? He That's opened crazy. up for Robin Harris the night of his special. Dang, I'm like, That's damn. Crazy. Wow. wow. That's DL, a nigga we ain't know either DL shit. D.L. been yeah. fucking around, bro, yeah. like, as far as just getting it. Yeah, and man. still working to this day, nigga. Yeah, yeah flowers to that, man. Flowers, flowers, bro. Always got a new special. Shout out to Royale Watkins. Directed one of the specials and stuff. It's a lot of behind the scenes dudes too. Um, how is it producing like shows and content for for you? Do you, are you doing any more of that or no? Just <laughs> roast. <laughs> you on that road? I've been mad. Stand up, man. Stand. Up. See, I'm old school. I came in the old school. It was like they were just like be funny, nigga. We used to do, nigga. We used to do 36 open mics a week. Mm, on shit. some like who can get the most open mics right. going, nigga. Game time. Like nigga, just be funny. Mm -hmm. So nigga, I was still my and then nigga, my first person who took me on the road was Earthquake. That Shout out to Earthquake, nigga. So amazing. I got taught how to right, fucking just do one stand up. Of the best. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I was on the road with Earthquake for four years. Nice. That's hard. Yeah, Come bro. On. So you know what I'm saying? I don't know this other side. I'm still learning. 
I'm yeah. thankful for this audio platform because it's giving me where I don't, I don't have to always depend on sketches and film skits, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm still working to put out product, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So I know that's happening with ticket sales, bro. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. yeah we thought about, yeah, we thinking about putting together like a little roast me tour. That's Shit. hard, bro. That's oh. a past thinking about yeah, it. That's, yes, that's it. That's yeah. a go. Yeah. That's a go, man. Shout out to all deaf, though. Yeah, man. Shout out to all deaf. We yeah. stayed hired when the first regime, because they sold, because we was working for Russell Simmons. Right. Mm. At first, yeah. and then. Cut, cut that, that again. <laughs> and action. So, man, so the, yeah, uh, man. Is that time? <laughs> is that time? Bro? They gonna chop this bitch up like Kanye, boy. They finna sell with this bit. A whole lot of bleach. First Patreon. First Patreon. Seventeen hundred. I mean, <laughs> whole lot once of bleach again, shit. you don't want your podcast sucking each other's dick. <laughs> <laughs> Come to more than coach. We got y'all. Hey, that was the best shit we ever did. Nigga. <laughs> that's my shit. <laughs> that's, shit. that's one of my favorite things I've ever done myself. I ain't gonna hey, lie. Man. That was Tyler Overboard. Yeah. That's what I'm that saying, was, man. Was Tyler. Tyler the crazy shit was when it, you know, we were doing the the, pr- the promos and shit. Right. When it came to my mind, I had looked to see if y'all saw it come to my mind. I was like, oh, these niggas didn't see it come to my mind. Because, you know, some t- Kamal catches me a lot. Mm. He was like, I'm waiting for what this nigga about to say. I was like, oh, these niggas didn't see, <laughs> these niggas didn't see me catch it. Hold on. Hold on! Here it comes. Rebo said, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> I reacted like the dude who found out on a fly with him. <laughs> yeah, he's like, uh, you mean proverbially, right? Proverbially, <laughs> right? Hey, but when we tapped in with Billy and roasted his ass anyway, boy, that boy, shit was funny as hell, man. boy. Yes, sir, Shout man. Out Shout out to everybody we we uh, talked about tonight. Hello. Yeah, Sh- Sh- yeah, thanks, Sh- yeah, Sh- yeah. Sh- <laughs> <laughs> Cut that shit, too. Cut yeah, that shit and leave it in yeah, at the same time. You gotta bleep time. all the names, yeah. bro. You bleep all the names. <laughs> My nigga, we appreciate you, bro. Oh, honey, Thank man. you, man. Pulling up. Take you in the city. You gotta fuck. Hey, every time you in the city, you gotta fuck with us, man. Got to. Yeah. Yeah. Tell them where to find you. Well, we, we ain't got to that part yet. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I just yeah, jumped. Yeah, we can. I, right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, tell, uh, tell everybody find me on Instagram, man. Who is Brandon Lewis? Uh, also, you can find me on uh, YouTube slash All Def Digital slash Roast Me. Yes, sir. I host slash that slurs. show, and we have five seasons. Well, no, we're going on our fifth season. That, Tell them about Atlanta. What you think Atlanta, Atlanta gonna do? Season, think we'll oh be all man, right. shout out to that's yeah. Shout out to how the, you feel, brought it home, bringing it home, nigga. Man, I'm like, I got to come shine the light on the niggas. I grew up, and then I used to come back because I used to come back home every. You know what I'm saying? When I was in LA, even now mm-hmm. I still come back and forth. And I used to just watch niggas meet niggas and just admire y'all niggas. Y'all was funnier, mm-hmm. cause like it's a whole different. St- I I learned comedy. Yep. But y'all niggas know funny. Funny. Come on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I learned when I went to LA, I learned comedy. Like I know structure. Mm-hmm. I know setup, punchline. I know how to say act out. I know the terminology. I read the books. I did. It's like university. Yeah, but like yeah, yeah. Atlanta, just like nigga, be funny, mm-hmm. cause that's what Earthquake used to always tell me. He's like, fuck all that shit. Yeah, it's cool be hard funny. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he used to tell me like, nigga, he used to give me like tests, like do your closer first, mm-hmm. and you got to make sure all your jokes are A jokes. Yeah. So when you have your bit, every all bit closes. should be an A as mm-hmm. far as the power of the joke, where it could just be funny as fuck. And yeah. if you don't got it like that, come on, man. I he said I- him and uh, Bruce Bruce used to battle. Mm. As far as like, no, nah, nigga, I'm gonna show you how funny you. Yeah. Like when they used to be on shows coming on. Mm. I remember that day I looked at my phone and I had ten closers, and I was like, oh shit, I got ten things that I be saying at the end of my shit. I'm finna put these together. <laughs> I'm about to rock their face yes, off, bro. and from there it was up. So that's a that's a key that's point a because gym. it's sure. being funny in Atlanta is a number one. What, like even what? if you want to have your setups, your act outs, and X Y Z, you got to show them you're funny first, facts. and then get into your bag and then of whatever you get into it is. Your facts, yeah. bro. Real talk, good nuggets, man. Appreciate man, you. Yeah, man, I'm thinking, am I a comedian or am I funny? <laughs> nah, nigga, you, you, nah, you're a legend, Seventeen-year-old white kids laughing, Maine. Yeah, you that's nigga. fucking a, a comedian. <laughs> Fuck out yeah, of here, here. Yeah, bro. that shit is the worst. <laughs> Ain't it? <laughs> Boy, that shit is not fun. No, you know the worst part when they come in and say, like in the middle of your set, could you like tell Abigail happy birthday? Right. <laughs> so like, in the, you know, the, what's the best part of your set? What's the like the part that you like the most? <laughs> the part you like where they're gonna the be most. laughing up, up yeah. energy. Stop that. <laughs> Tell Abigail happy birthday. She's, <laughs> she's running for student council. She's student my best friend. She's my roommate. Shout out to Ronnie Joy, man. I look man. up to you, dog. 
Shout out to Ronnie Jordan, man. man. Yes, Shout out to Ronnie Jordan. Shout out to Ronnie Jordan. Like, even during my journey, as you see, this nigga be killing colleges. <laughs> Killing yeah, colleges, and then your honey. You, I remember you your promo. You had the honey buns, all that in your thing. The soup, the, the briefcase full of honey. Oh yeah, <laughs> yes. briefcase. You had a briefcase full of honey buns. <laughs> you never. Bro, seen I ain't never seen <laughs> your you briefcase. Seen that yeah, I'm like in the back of a limo, like looking out the window, and I got a briefcase open with a bunch of honey buns in that bitch. Oh my man. God, put that picture up, please. I'll post it. I'm yeah. only laughing so hard because I thought you meant he carried around. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. No, he did. Hey! <laughs> no, I'm saying. On, on college tours, he would carry the briefcase with honey buns. That, that is no, I funnier. Didn't. That was for <laughs> one photo shoot. Oh. They they, they, so that's the rumor out on me? That's what they saying? I that thought was, that would be your closet. Like that you would throw them out. You, <laughs> <laughs> you see what happens when you play telephone? Hey, he'll pop that bitch like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here, I'm out of here, man. Y'all niggas are insane. Whew. If anybody look up the score of the game, don't tell me because I got to record it. Oh, oh okay. shit! <gasps> Just about to tell you too. Uh, so yeah, man. Yeah, it's that time before you said we like to end the shows with a segment we call <laughs> Secret Genius Life Coach. We get people some words of wisdom. Get through the week. Get to the next episode. I am Kamal the Secret Genius, and the words of the week are this. Personal injury commercials, personal injury lawyer commercials be lying to y'all. <laughs> because if you win $1.5 million in a settlement, I don't give a fuck who call your phone, you ain't gonna be happy about it because you paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> you are really fucked up. <laughs> If you receive a $1.5 million settlement, y'all motherfuckers be thinking that y'all gonna get some money and ain't nothing wrong with y'all. Oh, Something got to be wrong with you Bruh. for you to get a settlement. Bruh. And that's all I got. Yo, it's a joint on the radio right now. He's like, I got you one point. Woo hoo! Yeah, yeah, no, bro. nigga. nigga ain't no, no woo Ain't no, you can't woo hoo. Nigga, it's, <laughs> it's, it's not no, He ain't got the lung capacity how, to woo hoo no that's more. He, that's how his backfield, he get up. Woo hoo! <laughs> Shit, my back. You should be able to hear that nigga chair buzzing in the background. <laughs> that's woo, man. One more game. Appreciate Fucking you, bro. Brandon Lewis. Brandon man. Lewis. Bring and roast me back to the crib and man. also pulling up to more than culture to show. You did. What you said? You got any merch? No merch, man. I I'm, may need some merch. Bro. I need some merch. We got a company. I need some we'll, we'll clothes connect you as with. fuck. I got to write something. Well, more Than Culture is the brand. It's the More Than Culture show. Kamal the Secret Genius, Remo Rod, Tyler Chronicles, Ronnie Jordan, special guest, Brandon Lewis. We yeah. out. Yeah.